Hello everyone, I'm Stanley and welcome to Photonio Tutorials. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about path planning and the path stages. In order to understand what is path planning and in order to be able to set up path planning, you need to understand what is trajectory and what are the waypoints. And waypoints are like blueprints for a trajectory. Robot will go through these waypoints uh, during the beam picking, uh, starting in the start waypoint, through a couple of waypoints, then going down to end waypoint. And I'm going to use XYZ notation, uh, draw a little sketch over here. So we will begin in the start waypoint Z, X, there will be some Y direction. In the sake of presentation, in the sake of simplicity, I will omit the Y direction and I will be only using Z and X direction. So this will be start, I will mark it down with yellow color, start waypoint. Right? So we will start somewhere over here, then we will go uh, to the part. Uh, the part is laying down in the bin, so it will be somewhere in here. Let's say it will have a different rotation, so I will mark it otherwise, um, like this rotation, or even maybe something not so tilted. Let's say this will be rotation of the part, and this will be grasp. waypoint actually it is waypoint it is position um in between start grasp and end waypoint i will mark down also end waypoint over here it will have the same rotation as start but it will end up in another place um, there are a couple more we usually have approach waypoint which is maintaining orientation of the grasp and not only maintaining the orientation, but also it is offset a little bit. So this will be approach. And also there will be some the approach waypoint, usually right on on the top of of the grasping. So this will be the approach waypoint. Right over here. Um, and the trajectory after the path planning will look similar to this robot going to approach linearly to the grasp, linearly to the D approach, linearly to the end. So it will execute these all waypoints and the whole set of waypoints and the points in between them is called a trajectory. Alright, let's say we know what is trajectory, but what is offset and how to create all these waypoints via offsets, right? Uh, good question. Uh, I'm going to draw a part. The part I'm going to pick from the bin will look like this. This is a Tetris brick with some shape. And what we did in previous versions of this tutorial, we set up a gripping point, right? The gripping point will be over here. And also I'm going to draw another part which is tilted because there is another part over here. Just a quick rough sketch so you understand. So this is another part and all this part has their own gripping points. This will be the gripping point on this one. The second one will be over here. So these are the gripping points we set up earlier in the previous version, in the previous beam picking tutorials. And via offsets we are going to create approach to all of them. Right? And what is offset? We just take this point in space, shift it, right? translate it in some direction. And this is a new waypoint. And we can choose which coordinate system we will use for this translation. And in BeamPicking Studio we have two which we can use. The first one is offset in the gripping point direction. 
and the gripping point direction is I will mark it down with the grey color usually the Z direction of the gripping point or you can use different you can use Z X direction doesn't matter as long as you create a valid offset so in Z direction it will be pointing this way in X direction this way a combination of two will be this way right I will delete those arrows so we'll not be confused what we are going to do what I'm going to draw right now is offset in Z direction only for let's say some value and the sum value will be like this this is my sum value so my offset point will be in here and how can I achieve it will be in front of the gripping point is simple I will just use negative Z direction let's say the sum value sum value is a or I don't know maybe better notation would be length of Z length of Z and the offset created a new it will be called for example approach is just offset In direction of grasp so this will be direction and I will offset it 0 X 0 Y and length of the Z offset but negative because we are not going in the direction but the opposite direction so what we did we created we created the new waypoint while the offset of the grasp waypoint which is over here with some XYZ translation similar to this we would create another approach which will be exactly looking exactly the same but in different rotation because the next part has different rotation and is lying over here and the similar principle applies to this part right all these workpiece sh share the same offset in the direction in the rotation of the workpiece sometimes we don't need to have offset in direction of the workpiece we need to have offset in direction of the robot and the usual situation is when we want to retrieve the part from the bin and the path planner can take it into an action it can calculate trajectory which will not collide with the bin but the path planning is usually exhaustive process it takes a lot of time and if we can make blueprints a work a waypoint for trajectory which will be simple for calculations we can save a couple of seconds from a cycle time okay so imagine the bin is like this and then there is robotic coordinate system over here right i will mark it down it will be robot coordinate system And in order to remove the workpiece from the bin, we want to go straight upwards, like in this way. I believe it is obvious why we want to do it, because the walls of the bin are in the same direction. So we want to go linearly upwards, usually. This is the most safest way how to remove the workpiece, usually. And uh, in order to create a waypoint which will be going straightly upwards we use the grasping the grasp of the workpiece let's say this is workpiece one two and three and this is grasp number one grasp number two grasp number three and we will create an offset but not in the coordinate system of the workpiece but in the coordinate system of the robot itself and uh, the same principle 
is applied in here we want to use just z direction or combination of z x y z it doesn't matter we will generate an offset usually this way uh, i'm going to draw it uh, in in distance of l d approach let's say oh, i'll mark that down it will be distance of length of the approach and the new waypoint will be just over here it will maintain the rotation of the workpiece but it will be shifted it will be translated in the coordinate system of the robot and the same will be over here we will have a couple of new waypoints for each workpiece they will look different this is what I was uh, I was meaning with the blueprints. They will share some properties, but each one will be different. The rest of it will be calculated via the path planner. Uh, so my new waypoint, let's it is usually the approach, the approach. is calculated as grasp plus offset in robot coordinate system so the base of the robot and in this case it will be also 0, 0 and length of the approach in Z right, you can see it in here so this will be my new waypoint I am going to generate there are some situations where you need to inspect workpiece or do something else with it on the specific location and for such purpose you can add a specific waypoint fixed waypoint into your scene so I'm going to draw a pedestal for the robot over here uh, and here will be the coordinate system of the robot right x z axis over here and the fixed waypoint will be just something in a space in x y z and it's pretty simple using z ex extension right here x for example over here and in here it will be a new waypoint and it is a fixed waypoint there are some edge cases where basic waypoints are just not enough for example you may have deep bin or damaged bin and you need to set up more advanced trajectory if you think before you set up these part stages correctly, you can actually save some precious seconds from the cycle time. There may be a situation where we have a bin full of parts, like this one workpiece laying on the bottom, and the bin is a little bit too deep. So in this situation we would set up a usual D approach, which is right above the bin, and in such case I would use an extension like this so the actual waypoint will be over here right this will be the usual waypoint using the robot offset and this waypoint is something which would work when when a bin is almost empty or half empty or something like that but in, in situation where we have a lot of other parts over here and the next part is sitting on the top of the bin Literally, I mean somewhere over here. Suddenly, we cannot use this extension anymore because when we take out the part from the bin with the extension, let's let's call it extension uh, LE, we would go literally too high with the part. So the part would end up over here. And it could be problematic because somewhere over here could be a scanner and it, it would cause a problem with path planning. 
in such cases we usually set up relative offset and, and it is not an offset actually it is fixed plane and the fixed plane will not go that high usually the fixed plane and i will mark that with yellow color will will go only to some specific height and the specific height is determined by the offset from the robot base which is over here and it will be fixed plane offset over here so all the parts will end up in the very same height in this case it will be right over here so we can extract parts from very deep bins and always go to the very same position literally a couple of centimeters above the bin In the situation like this one, when the bin is heavily damaged, we don't want to go after the grasp directly upwards. Instead of, we want to go, let's say, into the center of the bin. And I'm going to draw a center of the bin somewhere over here. This would be my safe position. I would like to go into that direction with the workpiece after the grasping. Right? And in the beam picking studio we have a way how to do it. Uh, we just use relative to start or relative to end waypoint. And we will create it by offsetting a start waypoint. In my case, I would do it like this. Offset in Z direction, then offset in X direction. It would be, let's say, X equals 10, Z equals, I don't know, 80 let's say and we have a center of the bin somewhere in, in the middle over here and if we put relative offset value in bin picking studio to zero so the relative offset value equals zero what we end up with is a waypoint which is directly in the center of the bin and every time we remove the part from the bin we will end up in the center of the bin with the part a it will be over here similar to part B it will be like this this will be the waypoint of the part B while well, you can see we will maintain rotation of the part once removing and then there is a second way how to use it and we can create some new waypoint for each part and it will be uh, when we use relative offset value which is not zero some positive value in that case we will go with part towards the center of the bin but only for the finite value and when i am talking about the finite value let's say uh, the relative offset value equals 50 and my new waypoint will be 50 millimeters apart from the grasp well, let's say this is 50 millimeters apart from the grasp of the workpiece a this is 50 millimeters apart of the grasp of the workpiece B. Yeah, I think you can imagine it, but I'm going to draw what I'm talking about. So this will be ROV relative offset value right here. Uh, in, in this case, we could go a little bit to the center and afterwards we could, for example, use the fixed plane we used in the previous step. Okay guys, now we know what are path stages and what are waypoints and their role in the beam picking. In the next tutorial we are going to learn how to implement them in beam picking studio.